everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing a dollhouse in Hanford and Bagley on 30 by 40 lots and this is the first time that I've been doing a dollhouse and to be quite honest I'm super inspired by my own childhood lately. Uh, so I really wanted to create this dollhouse because to be quite honest I always wanted a dollhouse when I was a kid uh, I had like a Barbie dollhouse but this is different this is like amazingly good-looking dollhouse super expensive you can uh, change everything to your liking and that's what I wanted to create today for you in here so I'm really hoping that you're going to like this build and by the way if you haven't seen my last video right now I'm in the finals of the Sims 4 CC festival hosted by the CurseForge platform uh, so if you want to support me Please go to my description and vote for me. The only thing you need to do is go to the Twitter post that I'm going to link down below and just like it. That's basically <laughs> everything that you need to do. And I'm going to get like a thousand... No, oh my god, five, five thousand uh, dollars for that if I win and also you are going to be uh, able to win one hundred dollars gift card like from Amazon I believe so that's amazing and please do that if you haven't done that already I would really appreciate it five thousand dollars is a life changer and i guess for almost everybody i'm not talking about super rich people but for us like usual people who has like usual sal salaries i think that's that's amazing i would really like to get it you know so let's say something about this build so i said before that I always wanted to have a custom dollhouse but I was never able to get it because they are just way too expensive and also unfortunately they're not the thing in Croatia they're more the thing in um, America or Great Britain so it's not something that you can buy in here just like that so I never get the chance to have one uh, but what I love about The Sims is that I can create whatever I want and whatever my imagination wants me to create. So this time my imagination turned out to be uh, moving <laughs> towards uh, this kind of a build. And by the way, everything is functional. You can use every single thing in this build. But unfortunately, um, seasons would probably not work uh, with this because this house doesn't have uh, one wall. So I recommend you, if you want to play in this house, um, it's probably the best idea to turn off the seasons and you are going to be able to get it. Um, but to be quite honest, uh, this, this wasn't really meant to be for a gameplay it was meant to be something creative and just something that I wanted to recreate in The Sims and it seemed to me like a very fun idea and that was also something that I wanted to create before but I was scared that nobody's going to watch like a dollhouse build and I'm really hoping that I was wrong because that's something that I really wanted to create for the longest of time and also it's such a fun and creative build you're going to see that the landscaping is actually a room like a kid's room um, I really wanted to create that feel 
of a room and a dollhouse in it and I guess I made it happen I'm really hoping that I did uh, but I created the wall only on two sides so you can um, enter this house basically and you can you use it properly um, by the way uh, this is only base game cottage living and Pierre Sim custom content so I didn't use any other packs and I didn't use any other custom content uh, because I really want to make it simple and I really want to make it more um, easy to download let's say it like that so I'm really really hoping that you're going to like it because to be quite honest I really really enjoyed this build so um, you can see that I created a wall in here out of the foundation and I basically decorated that foundation with the tool mod uh, to look as an actual wall in the room and at the end it turned out to be super crazy build like an amazing creative build and I'm super happy with it um, I didn't show you all the details from the landscaping because uh, to be quite honest I was moving back and forth a lot with this uh, because I really wanted that feel of a room so I needed to add a lot of details on the walls and a lot of details like toys on the floor um, so you're going to see very soon that I'm going to skip that part and go to the interior of this amazing house uh, but of course at the end of this video as per usual you are going to have the chance to see the whole build um, and all of the details of this landscaping as well uh, I just didn't want it to make it way too long this video um, I wanted it to be shorter this time because if the video is too long you guys don't want to watch it so basically um that was my idea um this build is for two sim grow up sims and also for um I, I put the nursery bed in here i'm not sure is it functional because i honestly put it there just it looked cool just because it looked cool and it really had sense um, but you probably can make it functional if you just move a little table you're going to see everything a little bit later uh, also I added this kind of um, entrance to the house let's say it like that and I put some planters in here and this little table uh, also we have everything else that like a proper house needs we have uh, like fully furnished functional kitchen we also have a bathroom the bedroom the living room and also we have a small art studio under the roof um, and as I said before everything is functional and you are going to be able to play in here but i would definitely recommend you either to close the wall and put i don't know like the glass windows or something like that or to just turn off the seasons and have summer always and that's basically it <laughs> I'm hoping that was helpful I don't know about the mods uh, right now there are so many mods for the gameplay I don't know if there is a mod that actually helps you use this house or anything but I'm not going to say that I'm sorry because I enjoyed this so much and I just wanted to be creative with a different idea and just to do something different so this is my version of a dollhouse i don't know why but this time i went into like more neutral colors i usually like to play with colors a lot 
Um, but since the landscaping was so over the top with the colors and everything, and it was very colorful, I didn't want to make a, a dollhouse too colorful. I wanted it to be more neutral and I think it fits this landscaping and the space perfectly well. Um, I'm going to upload this to the Curse Forge, but when you are uploading the house to the Curse Forge, you need to wait for your house to be approved. So uh, this is going to be out for you know, probably two days or so. Uh, I'm going to include the link when it uh, can come out and also uh, I'm going to make a post so you are going to be um, able to download it. Um, I used one set that is on early access right now and it's a bathroom from Pierre Sim. It looks so amazing. I was waiting for the rustic uh, type of bathroom for such a long time and this one fits perfectly into every single little house. And also it's funny because the House of Harlicks also made their bathroom uh, this month and also I'm so excited to do something uh, different with that one as well. Uh, but Pierre Sim made like a rustic bathroom and Felix and Harry made like a basic bathroom that could go well with probably anything. Um, I mean any design uh, and I'm super excited for both of those bathrooms so uh, this time I decided to use Pierre Sim because I felt like doing a rustic dollhouse but probably for my next build or so I'm going to make something with House of Harlicks and Felix Andre and Harry but that's something that I often do quite quite often so I decided to uh, give you the chance to see this beautiful custom content from Pierre Sim as well because he's an amazing creator and he has his own patreon page where you can uh, support him of course and take the early access custom content but also the other way to support him is to go to the curse forge and download his custom content from there because as a creators we are getting some points on a curse forge and after some time we are getting like small amounts of money but it's still something so that would be amazing and the only thing uh, that I need to create right now basically is the bathroom that I was just telling you about and you are just going to enjoy it because I enjoyed it so much. It looks so, so beautiful. So that would be everything for today's video, you guys. Please support me on Twitter on CurseForge link that I'm going to like post and the link that I'm going to add to my description and I I don't have nothing else to say uh, except for thank you for watching my videos always I'm sending you a lot of, a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very very soon bye bye you guys